uh, your good stuff. How'd you feel out there tonight? Good, good. Um, you know, it was just uh, trying to attack the zone, the ball down, and, uh, just throw a lot of strikes. Oh, I guess I you and Kurt Suzuki seem to be in sync all night long. How much does that help when you guys have that experience and, and know the team you're playing and can kind of get together and, and make it work? Yeah, um, I mean, I don't think I really had to shake out at all tonight. Um, it's, it's obviously easier into a little bit better rhythm. Um, you're not always shaking off, slowing the game down. So, um, you know, it felt good and uh, you know, we were on the same page pretty much the whole night. How tough is it for a pitcher when you got to wait that long and a delay that's two hours and 40 minutes? Yeah, uh, it's not ideal, obviously. Um, but luckily, you know, the rain came kind of early, so I didn't have to go through any pregame um, routines early uh, as if, you know, I thought the game was going to start at 7. So, um, you know, I waited, 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 and kind of um, backed off a little bit. Luckily, do you feel any extra personal importance on this start, just as far as maybe the security of your spot in the rotation? Um, you know, I just I try not to think about that. You know, I try to just go out there and, and do what I can do out, out on the field. You know, some, sometimes you're not gonna you're not gonna have good days, um, and sometimes you do. So you know, I just uh, the ones that aren't as good, just chalk it up to that and kind of continue to prepare for the next start and and just trust trust that. Uh, I'll be able to go out there and give the team a well pitch game. What do you do during a regular delay that's one hour and turns into two hours that become two or three hours just to kind of get through the time? Um, the first part of it is a lot of sitting around. Um, and then obviously uh, start getting ready, start loosening up just in case the game is going to get, you know, we are going to play the game. Um, and yeah, you just kind of, it's, it's a lot of waiting. You know, like I said, it's not ideal, but. You know, it's something that you know we got to keep our uh, composure and our head in, and, and just in case we do play. How big was that throw by uh, Dan? <clears throat> fifth, I want to say. Huge, yeah. real huge. You know, obviously um, Coco gets that hit right there, two outs. I mean, if he scores, you know, they're they're only down one right there, and you know we're still in that inning. But you know, he, he throws them out end of the inning, kind of ruins the ra the rally, um, and you get out of the inning. So. Huge. Thank you. Time tough when it's, I mean, nine o'clock and still, I mean, maybe eight thirty. It's still pouring. They haven't made a decision yet. Are you thinking that you're gonna play? I mean, at that point. To be honest, I didn't think we were going to. Um, yeah, I looked at the weather pretty much from when the game was supposed to start at seven, uh, all the way through probably about nine o'clock, I guess, and it just it didn't look like it was gonna let up. So. But you know, I didn't, I didn't check out. You know, I was, I was still in it. You know, because they kept coming back every hour or so, saying, you know, we're gonna try to get this game in. So uh, I try to stay mentally in it, uh, just in case. And you know, luckily we did play and it worked out.